Hello, welcome back to Little Codex. Today I'm going to show you how to load film in your old 116 film camera using 120 film. So 116 film is no longer made. This camera is my Rainbow Hawkeye number 2A folding model B. And the bellows on this camera are still good. There's no light leaks on this guy. So if I want to go out and shoot um, film with him, can because the 116 film that was originally for this camera is no longer made. So it was discontinued in 1984. Um, the 116 film uh, came out uh, from Kodak, they patented it in 1930. This camera is from 30 to 33. So from 1930 till about 1984, you could still buy camera film for this uh, particular camera. Um, but after 84, it was discontinued. Uh, 120 film, however, is still being uh, manufactured. So what we're gonna do is we'll pop them open. And I'll take the take up spool out. And you can see there is a big difference between your 116 film spool and your 120 spool. So it's uh, almost seven millimeters um, wider and the uh, diameter on the end um, is considerably bigger. So you can see the uh, comparison between the two. Well, what I did was I got a couple of these 120 to 116 adapters um, off your friendly neighborhood eBay. And what these do is they slot right into the end of your 120 film, which brings it to the same width the same diameter for the 116 film. They're a little loose, so what I like to do is we'll take a piece of paper, and I just take a couple strips of paper. and we'll place these on the end. Take note of that slot. And then this has a piece that will fit right into that. And you just pop it into place. And that will hold it in. So your adapters won't be loose on your roll. So that's what I do to uh, to keep my adapters on my 120 film on So this is a um, a dummy roll, so it doesn't have any film on it. It's just uh, for re-rolling. So you can see that's where the film was, and it has all of your numbers. So this is um, the numbers here for your regular 120 uh, film cameras. So when you see that through the window, that's when you'll take your shots. For your 116 camera, it's a little bit different because the, uh, the film gate is bigger. So it's wider. Um, it's a little bit taller, but the width is um, really the thing you need to watch. So, sorry, I just unrolled this so you could kind of get the idea of, uh, of what we were working with um, with my little re-roll here. So we'll get our camera body back and this side is gonna end up going into here. 
and then we'll take our leader out. And we are going to feed it onto our 116 film spool. And this will get wrapped up like this. Okay, you can see as I wind it, our film will be there. So this is our gate and it's wider on the uh, 116 camera. So you'll get more of a panoramic shot and the edges of the 120 film go right up to, um, to the tops and the bottoms of this film gate. Now, I could go and get a couple pieces of plastic to mask that off and tape it up and do all that, but I'm gonna try it without doing that. Um, all right, and now our film is loaded and our 120 film in our 116 camera. And this has a little red window. Normally on your 120 cameras, your window's on this side. So that's where you'll see um, your number one, two, and three come out. For the 116, it's on the opposite side. And there's kind of a little math trick to um, the frames as you shoot them since your gate is a lot wider than your 120 film. So as I wind this, I will tell you where you gotta stop. And uh, I'll show you that it's kind of hard because it's almost cut off, so you have to be real careful. You can see there's some uh, stuff there on the end, and you can see our arrows coming up to tell us where our, our first frame is gonna be for our normal 120 film. So. There's the number one. You can barely see it there, but it's just peeking over. We are going to actually go to the number three. That's gonna be our first frame. So this film's nice because it has some dots so I can tell where the halfway point is. So there is the number two. There's a dot, which is a quarter. There's the little dot, which you can hardly see, which is half. And then we're gonna be coming up on the three. So there is the number three right there. So that's our first frame of the film. So our, uh, we get six shots with the, uh, with the 120 to uh, the 116 film adapter um, in this. So it'll be, Shot one on number three. Shot two is at five and a half. Shot three is at eight. Four is at 10 and a half. Five at 13. And six at 15 and a half. So you'll probably want to write that down and um, you'll really need to pay attention uh, to that little window as you uh, scroll on by. So that's three. There's the four, and our second frame is at five and a half. So, as we come up on five, which is just the very tip of it. So what I need to do is hit five and a half. And since there's some dots, it's the big dot, which is one quarter. And then there's a little dot, which um, you can't really see on film, but um, to my eye, I can see it barely there. So that would be my second frame. Um, maybe you can see it a little bit, yeah. All right, so I would take this guy
and I'd be able to take my shot. And that is how you load a 116 camera with 120 film. Hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps our channel out. And until next time, have a great day.